my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. In today's gospel passage, in a special way, Jesus Christ is seen as a savior because when he visited the house of Simon and Andrew and he saw the mother-in-law of Simon and Andrew with fever and Jesus Christ healed her and also he healed many sick and demonic people not only from physical suffering but also from physical illnesses. I believe that we must be very careful in interpreting the gospel and first of all express our appreciation to all those who patiently accept their illness and live by it, which is to believe in God even in suffering and pain. They build their strength in God, which is precisely carrying a cross. When we read the Bible, we all frequently hear that in the time of Jesus Christ, many diseases were described with demonic obsession. But today, we all know that there are other sources of diseases like the bacteria and the viruses, dangerous infections, hereditary diseases, and certainly there are many unexplored diseases. We are still struggling to find accurate knowledge and medicines, especially concerning incurable diseases. Certainly not every disease is psychologically conditioned, yet the psychic and the physical are in relation to each other. Man is indeed a unity of soul and body. When we pray for good health of the body and the soul, we trust that today God will surely intervene in our lives because God has all power to heal any kind of diseases and God is the one who is the healer and giver of good health. God not only works invisibly, but also God works through people like doctors, scientists, nurses and all other people. Many people have various questions regarding some unexpected incidents and calamities and diseases and start to question God in similar way. Did Jesus Christ really heal all the sick? or? Were there only many sick people? Why does God allow illness? Why can't Jesus Christ take all the diseases out of the world once and for all? Why Jesus Christ did not bring all the dead back to life and bring them to the world of the living? For all these questions, answer is faith. The person with faith finds the meaning in the plan and purpose of God. Only by having faith in the kingdom of God that has already begun but is not yet completed. It is precisely in the adversity of human transience that we long for a love that heals and does not pass away. And in this way, we are very intimately connected with God. The kingdom of God does not begin where there is no longer any illness, but where one cares for the sick. The kingdom of God does not begin where there is no more strife, but where one forgives one another. The kingdom of God does not begin where there is no more war, it begins where peace is perceived. God is love and love heals. We to become healing people through love and give hope for a better world which comes to us from God and is open to us.
Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you to bless all the people who are suffering, all the people who are infected because of this pandemic and coronavirus. You are the healer. You are the greatest physician. You are the only source of health. Bless everyone and touch all the people who are sick. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.